Welcome back to the channel, everybody. How has everybody been? We are back with some more Dark Souls 3 gameplay. We're starting off exactly where we left off, as per usual. I'm going to go and try and chow this guy. I'm a little bit higher level now. I have more endurance. Which is really good. We love more endurance. So I can tank some more hits with my shield type thing. Taking a hit there was not great. Alright, well, I'm not going to go in this time. I reckon I get the key from this place. I got the Silver Knight hat. It weighs more. It's slightly better. We also have plus seven Estus that I didn't have last time. Uh, what? I'm guessing I'm not going in this time either. Unless I farm one more level and go in there, level 90 maybe. anything I can think of. They keep wanting to hit me. Nice. Yes, yeah, so how much? It's 47,000. The only problem is I can get invaded here. So the longer I'm farming, the, the higher the chances of getting invaded. Let's check those Silver Knight leggings. I can't use them. Just because I'll be over... Overweight. Those cheeky cheekies. Well, that's one done. He was so... I think he's just baiting me, I don't know. See, now I don't want to go in there with 25,000. How much is it? 45? 47, 9. So it's basically 48. Uh, 
last half because I lost my Ember status. Just playing it silly. Ugh. Playing it like risk free, basically. Like, I'm not going to die. Yeah, well, if we do get that one more level, we'll be, we'll be level 90, which is quite a nice round number. Gonna hit me then. Oh, that was so close. Why didn't they just tickle him? Nice, let's go. So might as well go up and get this guy, because he's 4-4, four, 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 and then... What, like two more farms, and then he's... Then we're ready. There's only three, which is a shame. It's an unnecessary death hit once again. Zero reason. What could you do, though? Just play it before you get punished. It's the Dark Souls way. Load of Titanite shards. If I ever need to rank up my uh, just regular, regular items, we're in a good spot. So I got four Titanite shards just off those two people. It's pretty good. I don't need Titanite shards either. Noise. So literally just th these two and then teleport back, rank up, and then we'll chow the boss. But once again, I probably need to use an ember just to be the actual correct like kind of HP. Pretty run past these as well. Start selling Titanite shards, really. 
I keep getting dropping two from each one of those. I don't know. I think they sell for a lot, but if they consistently dropping two and I'm farming those, that's six every every farm. That is, you know, they're gonna make some money up. Okay, that's gonna give me a, a lot of a lot of extra damage boost. Got nice a scaling in decks, which is, you know, obviously the more decks the better, basically. Up to the hard cap of level eighty, I do believe. You have a soft cap and then a hard cap. I can't remember what the soft cap is. So soft caps where you start getting a lot less damage. Each rank's only like worth an extra one. And then the hard caps where it's it, you don't get any damage basically, or it's like one damage extra. Oh, they chased me the whole way. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Alright, I think he stopped chasing. Road, but okay. Couldn't even survive a swing. I did a fair bit of damage though, and he hit him twice or three times for that big, big chunk. I've, I've definitely got to be embered. I can't not be embered, basically. He's hitting me for mega damage through my shield. Without being embered, I'm... Yeah, you definitely gain at least like a 10% boost. I don't have to worry about my souls. I only have like 500, right? You know, we're in here. Last time, we was it was the stamina bar which was holding us back. Because every time, I was just getting absolutely trained upon. I had no stamina. Now this time I've I've actually got some stamina. All right, that was 3 hits. It's a big chunk. I just really gotta watch out for that bow, basically. That was not good enough. I need to get at least three hits in per. Okay, two hits per that tiny bit of damage is fine. If I take a big chunk of damage, I need to get three hits in to make it fair. That was three for zero, so that's very good. Right now he's super buffed, right? Yeah. Or she. I can't remember if it was a he or a she. Can't spam that at me. Oh, the bloody bow. It's a homing. After when when it gets the fire buff, it turns into a homing bow. Alright, I'll 
I'll take two more teleports. And I got this. I haven't got two more bows though in me. That's definitely doable. I just need to get luck with the RNG of the not getting spam bowed. Or soul speared. That back to back soul spear in the middle of there was. It's not doable. It's ridiculous. I've only got like 900 souls there, so I'm just going to leave them. Saying that I need to go this way anyway. Oh no, I died over that way. That one off the rip's fine. Might as well get him. That's half health off the rip. I didn't know this person could fly. The bloody bow. Finally, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Oh, but he's not saying it's a second phase. Okay. I was going to say, I don't say it's a second phase. I might cry. I thought it had a second phase where it has the fire phase where everything it shoots a lot faster. Okay. We're doing alright, we're doing alright. Please save your soul. Interesting. Why is it saying save their soul? So literally trying to destroy me. And then all of a sudden then now I have to save this person's soul. So once you do that, then it teleports you to here. So I'm not supposed to be I'm not supposed to be that far ahead. Alright, I'm going back there. Why did it have that bonfire on, basically? It's just, it just just seems pointless. Tele well, it teleports you there, so, so I think then it's that's where you're supposed to go next. 
I want to explore this area. There's nothing this way, right? Okay, there's nothing this way. There's gotta be something through that way, right? There's gotta be. Well, there's an item. See, it's worth coming back for that one item. Yes, right, so we got to have a look. What does the princess ring do? Gradually restores HP. That's not bad. You can tell this is not supposed to be like the, the area. This I should have done that area before the other area, which, which makes it weird because I found that uh, armored dragon dragon slayer armor one a lot easier than I did that one, even though that's way later on. But we will rank up. What do we rank it up next? Does this give me... This does give me FP. I might do... Yeah, I might do one more FP. That gives me 120. I would do one a bit more stamina. Probably a little bit more strength. A little bit more dex, of course. Probably a little bit more vigor. But for now, that's what we need. Farewell, Ashen One. Right, so we've got to look at what spell we can create with that. Ashen One. Ashen one. Okay, 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 okay. Back here. So we can get the... Oh, it's just not with Aldridge. That's not the right one, right? Well, maybe it was. A Dark Moon Longbow. It doesn't have a lot of damage, though. 5,000, that costs 5,000, that's faith, I'm not going to get that much faith, so I could, suppose I could do the longbow. I took the mantle of... And then compare it to that, so... Okay, nice, we don't have any Esther shards, I'm going to go check, I don't think we do. We got 13 anyway. I think max is 15. So we, we, we're doing very well for it. Let's get some more arrows if we need them. Nope. Okay. Perfect. Right. Perfect. We are going to leave it there and say thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed today's content, then please do consider liking and subscribing. It does help out the channel quite a lot. And hopefully I'll catch everyone in another stream or video sometime soon. Uh, peace.